So now it's sample question time out of the exam guide, and this is uh, sample question number two in the exam guide, and it's dealing with a lot of the things that we've just worked through in this section. This is not one of the greater questions in the world, in my opinion. It's hard to know which are the right answers, but we'll go through it anyways, and I'd like to hear your own thoughts or feedback in the Q&A section of this lecture to see if you disagree or agree or can explain further why the right answers are the right ones and the wrong answers aren't the best possible answers. And I think this is one to where potentially all the answers could be correct, but you need to know which ones are the best answers. That's why these sorts of questions make it really hard to get right is because it can be tricky. So let's read what they have to say here and figure this out. So Universal Containers, which is the fictional company, that Salesforce uses in their exams. So they plan to deploy the Salesforce Service Console to their support team. So the question is, which three steps should be considered in deployment? And so the options are, A, customize highlights panels for all objects, B, is set up interaction logs and assign them to user profiles, C, is assign users the Service Cloud user feature license, D is set up users and assign them to a queue, and E is to customize case list views. Now, the more I look at this, the more I'm thinking this is not a great question, but if we look at this and we know we need to select three, this is related to the service console. So they're deploying the service console to their existing support team. So I think implied in this is that they're already using Salesforce. They've probably already customized some case list views. This is not something unique or just only available in the service console, but list views are also available outside of the console. And then I guess it's presumed as well that they've already set up the user accounts and they've assigned their support agents to queues. I don't know how we're supposed to know that, but basically what the exam guide says the right answers are A, B, and C, which all you know validly do need to be considered specifically for the console. And I think that's what they're getting at is that the highlights panel is only available in the console it's not available outside of the console and that's that thing at the top of the case that you can turn on or off and then setting up interaction logs uh, we did that previously and we had that displayed at the bottom of the console and that's something that's only available in the console as well and so those kind of make sense for answers to this question but then c assign users the service cloud user feature license that really is something that's done at the beginning of user setup in order to extend the functionality of the service cloud. I guess you have to have a service cloud user feature license in order to use the console. I think that's a requirement. So it's kind of vague. It's not the greatest, but it is what it is. And it is a way of reiterating some of the things that we've just covered in this section of the course. And so the other sample questions in the exam guide I think are a lot better than that one. But like I said, feel free to chime in in the Q&A section and provide your own commentary or thoughts on why this is a good question or not and uh, your own thoughts on what the right answers are. And now that we're through that excellent question in the exam guide, we're going to round out this section of the course. We're nearing the end. And so next is an optional practice activity that you can do. And these are some suggested trailhead units that you can get more hands-on experience to apply the principles and the concepts that you've just learned in this section of the course. So you can do that now, or you can do that later if you wish. And then we'll finish out this section of the course with a service cloud solution design quiz. And then we'll get into the next section of this course, which is knowledge management.